Jackie is here. Jackie is back. I know y'all like what is going on with Jackie. Jackie. Mm, mm, mm. Jackie. I cannot find that intro. Oh, I'm going to have to look in the archives for my old intro, y'all, because uh, I kind of missed that one. Boom, boom, boom. My babies did that one for me. Baby boys, they made that intro for me. And, you know, every now and then I like to switch it up and stuff, but I can't even find my, um, you know, I've been vibing with the new intro. I love the new intro. Shout out to um, the gentleman who um, did that intro for me. Um, if you go to the homepage and look at my, um, you know, for visitors or whatever. Not visitors. I think it's visitors. But, yeah, that, that intro is up there, and they'll tell you who did the intro and all that stuff. So, anyhow. Y'all, I'm here. I got my hair pulled back. Y'all already know what's about to go off when Jackie got the hair pulled back. You know what I'm saying? It's a wig review. Y'all can see it in the title. Y'all already know. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do you guys a favor. I'm just going to get right into it because I know some of y'all hate it when I drag it out and then wait 20 minutes to put the wig on. So anyway, this wig I got from, um, now for, I had this wig for about a year, y'all, over a year because, um, my one year lock anniversary was in February. It's freaking April now. April 19th to be exact. My daughter's birthday. She's 19. Happy birthday, boo. I'm waiting for her to come home. Um, and I bought a couple of tester lock wigs because when I was like contemplating, oh, do I want a lock? Do I want a lock? What will I look like? Do I want this size? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I bought a couple of lock wigs from, um, wigtypes.com y'all know wigtypes.com my spot um and this one is called lock lace wella wella and it's a number two i do not have the card that came with it ironically it's probably laying around but y'all know i have moved and bounced around um between the flood and all that stuff listen so anyway regular degla wig cap y'all regular constructed wig cap it has the um the adjustable straps let me get up in here like so adjustable straps um it really gives you a lock effect because it look at that like see how it's looking kind of that i don't want to say nappy see how it's looking kind of um all natural ish whatever um it has an l parting all right it has two combs in the front and it has a comb, a comb in the back and a comb off to the side okay so anyway um yeah, I have a, I've only worn this a couple of times and everything. Like I said, this is the number two. Um, I was thinking it was like probably too dark on me or something. I, I don't know, but whatever. I like how it's really giving me natural textured vibes. Okay, y'all know what my locks look like. And honestly, um, my locks pretty much look like this, you know, the sizing anyway. So let's just slap the damn thing on, right? Let's just slap this damn thing on. Like this particular wig, you there's you can't do a whole lot of variation with this wig, y'all. Hold on, I gotta get up in this mirror because I told y'all this um this wig be giving me not this wig, but this camera be giving me reverse mirror angle. And yeah, I haven't worn a wig in a minute, so I don't even know where my wig caps are. So I'm just using the combs. And then I'm trying to use the um the tabs, the ear tabs, to get the placement of the wig right. It's all about the placement of the wig, y'all. And to get this part right. So now, technically this joke was supposed to be, I think, pre-plucked. I'm not for sure. I don't have the card anymore. Um so let's go with it's pre plucked but honestly, look how look how tight that part is. Like, can you see the part? No, you you can barely see the part. I'm trying to figure out how much I want to come over before I go to the next phase. So, like, you can barely see the part, right? You can barely see the part. So, I'm trying to figure out. Do I want to do like a up waterfall thing? Trying to figure this one out. Y'all know I like showing my face, so when the hair keeps falling in my face, eh, I don't know sometimes about that. So, and then 
and I'm pushing it back. All right, so I'm going to leave it right here for the time being. All right, like y'all can't even see the part, baby. Like it's supposed to be pre plucked, but y'all can't even see the part. You know what I'm saying? So, but let me get y'all back shot first. Then we're going to, then we're going to fix this parting. Okay, we're going to fix this parting because, like, you know, normal hair, your real hair, you can see parts. You know what I'm saying? So, this is the back of the wig. Okay, nothing special, nothing spectacular. Um, yeah, that's the back of the wig. So, I want to say the reason why I really haven't been a big fan of this wig is because of the part. It don't look real to me. It looks like like I'm wearing a wig, or I, I don't know. I it just I don't know. Maybe I'm not a fan of how it's parted. Maybe if I just want to bring it over here. And wear it like on this side. But honestly, you're not gonna get five no five styles from me on this wig. You can only do but so much with this wig, and it ain't much you can do with this wig. Um yeah, like no. So we're gonna flip it back over here, right? Right, so let's flip it back over here and kind of give it a more, a more, a, a better look of real, 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 realness, damn it, realness. So, I'm not saying it looks wiggy, but for me, for something to look a little bit more all natural or whatever, I need that part. So, I'm just trying to get this wig situated, y'all. Like I said, I told you I hate it when it. The hair falls in my face, so I'm gonna like kind of pin it a little bit, and yeah, we're gonna do it like that. All right, so it's barely a part there; you can barely see it. So what I'm gonna do is, and you really can't pluck it. Um, the way this hair is made, you can't pluck no more hair out. Like I, like I said, I, I really feel like this was a pre-pluck, um, parted wig. You know what I'm saying? So. When there's nothing, when there's nothing else that you could do, right? All right, so let me. This is what I'm gonna do. Let me see. Do I want to pull some of this back? Yeah, I'm looking for a bobby pin, guys. I just had a whole line of bobby pins in front of me. Like, how do y'all disappear? Really? Like, y'all really just disappeared on me just like that. All right, screw it. All right, let me bring my hand in the mirror in front of me. And I want to say I paid like 20 something dollars for this wig, if that, you know. I don't I don't pay a lot of money for my wigs. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a concealer that's kind of close to my skin tone and I'm going to just and it's cool I got this applicator cuz you could do it a different way. Like look, and I could go like this, just apply it to this flat brush. Like so. And then, y'all see me? And I'm just going to go like this. And make this part more profound. Okay? That's all I'm doing. Right here on my hairline. Right there. Boom. Y'all y'all, instantly see the difference in that. Do you instantly see the difference in that? Do y'all understand why we use this technique? Do y'all understand why we use this technique? This is why. Because this instantly gave me, okay, this might be her hair type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and then, all right, so let me just take and just pat that out. All right, and then you can always take some powder, which that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some powder. Right, so basically, I'm kind of setting it, I guess, if you want to go with that. All right, and then I'm just going to take some powder with the same brush and just dip it, dip it like so. And then I'm pretty much just setting it. 
set in the um, concealer. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. All right. So now, I done did that. But see how, but y'all see where I'm getting at. Do y'all understand the whole point of me doing that part? Like, it looks more realistic. It looks more like, okay, this could be growing out of my scalp. Okay? So, and then the color of the wig. Like I said, it says it's a number two, but really, it's really... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a number two. I'm I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking about a dark brown or whatever, because I was about to say... But dark brown is like a... Going into three and going into two or four. So, this is all black, you know. And, um... But, yeah, so look. I mean, so I'm kind of feeling it more now. I'm feeling it more now because I got the part in it. It's looking more, it's looking more real to me. It's looking like a more real Loch Ness shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Again, there's nothing a whole lot you could do with this wig. Maybe pull it like this. Like so. And pull it back a little like that. And then... Have some hanging down to the side. Y'all see my lock peeking out. Is that my lock peeking out? Oh no, that's the I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, that's my lock peeking out. So y'all see my lock peeking out. And then like maybe just pull it back and little pigtailish thingy. Hold on. A little scrunchy. What have you? And then you know. Still able to show off my face. I'm in the mirror, y'all. Trying to get it right. Show off my face. Let it hang a little. You know, sensual seduction type thing. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. So this is the Lock Lace Wella in the number two. So, you know, ladies, if you're thinking about getting locks, but you're, you're not 100% sure you want to be committed to it, this is why I bought lock wigs, you know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to see what exactly I was going to look like, you know. Let me pull it down a little bit. So I get right up there. There you go. Right? All that. See how, look, see how that's wrong? The part. Come on. Y'all can't tell me nothing. No, I'm not using the combs at the moment because I ain't going nowhere. This is just a little quick review and a demo but um yeah so if you're thinking about locks try wig i mean like and then you know when you go to the wig shops you ain't even gotta um you ain't even gotta buy the wig you know i bought this wig because i ordered it online I, I order all my wigs online i rarely go to a wig shop and try on a wig and then order it online i rarely do i, I don't know the last time i tried on a wig at a wig shop um I because I, I order wigs online now, and the thing is, I just know my face. And then if I see a wig that I'm that like, oh, that's dope, that looks good on one of my other sister, my sister friends, I'm like, oh, let me get that. But I know I might, I'm gonna adjust it so it's gonna look good for this face shape, structure, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of got an eye for it. Like I got an eye for. It. I'm like, okay, yeah, I know I can make this work. Like this wig. Eh. I, I, I'm i really, I'm still not a fan of it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of this wig, but the part helped. I'm trying to like lay it down and push some of this back. But the part helped. You know what I'm saying? The part that I, you know, like making the part well profound definitely helped give me a little bit more vitality and more openness to this wig. You know what I'm saying? So... But yeah, again, it is pretty much like my locks. My locks just ain't this long yet. And um, but my locks are pretty much this size. And um, yeah. I I like the color. The number two is okay. Something different. So, you know, because when me when I do my wigs, uh, you know, I was all natural and everything. I, I wore a lot of natural hair wigs that blended in with my hair. Um, I feel like, you know, wearing a lock wig ain't, ain't is not a bad idea since my hair is locked. So like if I you see me with this hair one day and then the next day I just snatch it off and you see my locks, no big deal. Cause I got locks up under here, right? So I don't know, I might mess with my coworkers tomorrow. I might just wear this to work tomorrow. 
Let's see what somebody. Oh, girl, your hair has grown, girl. Yes, bitches, it has. has it? You dyed. Yes, I did. This is this is what I did over the weekend. I dyed my hair, and then the next day I'm gonna snatch it off and come back with my hair. <laughs> hey, shit. I know I ain't shit. So anyway, but yeah, beautiful. What y'all think about this? Um, about this lock wig. This is Wella. I like it. She's cute. You know. Um, she do what she do. You know, slap it on, go out the house and go type wig. You know, nothing nothing spectacular. I'm trying to figure out, can you really get something super spectacular out of this wig? I don't think so, unless you just... I'm just like, can I get like a, like some kind of updo or something, you know? You know, something like that. Just trying to figure it out. I don't know. But uh, I wholeheartedly just really feel like this is it. This is the style you're going to get with this wig. Maybe pull it back and tuck it, whatever. Maybe like like this, pull it back, and then just tuck it or whatever. Put a little bun in the back, and then maybe have some scragglies hanging. I really feel like that's it. That's it for this wig. So, so beautiful, what do you think? Would you buy a wig and test it out? Like a lock wig and test it out. Or would you just get like, what do you call it? The fox locks. You know, when you get it um, crocheted in or whatever, whatever. But I really think, you know, ladies, y'all should like test it out. Because it's a big commitment, you know, when when you're getting locks. You know what I'm saying? So that that's a big ass commitment. Um, but let me know what you think about Wella. You know what I'm saying? This is Wella. Number two, I'll have a link in the description box below to Wella. Pro it's probably still available on the site. Like I said, it's been it's like a year old, but you know, or you know, let's see how you could just push that back. Push it back. Lace, you know, it's laying right down. If I had some little gel, I'll probably just gel it down a little bit. Like this is this is, you know, cool. You know, so what do you think, beautiful? Would you rock this wig? Is it too wiggy looking? Did the did defining the part help at all make a help make a decision on if you would buy this um this wig or not you know what i'm saying so let me know let me know what y'all think and um uh, yeah i'm gonna come back with another one but let me know let me know let me know what you like about this wella what you don't like about this wella and um yeah we can talk about it okay so beautiful to the next video hold on because my little Oh, I thought my little eyeliner was slipping. So until the next video, beautiful. I, I'm liking the behind the ear. You know what I'm saying? With a little bit of, a little bit of my face and mm, what's essential? Mm, like this is a picture right here. <laughs> but anyway, beautiful. Until the next video, do.